Okay, step three in diaphanization. This is gonna be the trips and bath. So first I wanna go over how the specimens look before we begin this process because they're gonna change dramatically. As you can see, this is where the cartilage stain picked up on our snake right at the tips of all the ribs. All right, let's find a mouse. And here you can see where the cartilage stain took right at the tips of his ribs also, and his tail, as well as his knees and other joints, and the tip of his nose. But you can see that they're still kind of milky or opaque. So let's begin. We're gonna need another jar. You're gonna need sodium borate. I can go over how to make that in another video. So you're gonna need 30 mLs of sodium borate. And then you're gonna need 70 mLs of distilled water. Add that to your sodium borate. And then you're gonna need one gram of trypsin powder. So let's measure that out. Okay, let's add that to the sodium borate and distilled water. Make sure to stir it up. Don't want it to be all clumpy. Okay, now we've made a trypsin bath. We can go ahead and put our specimens in it. And you can leave your specimens in the trypsin bath for up to three days, but I would just watch to see how clear they're getting because you can take them out before. Sometimes they need longer, where if they need longer, you'll need to make a new trypsin bath after three days. Okay, so I just want to take you through how the trypsin bath is going to affect the specimens. Here's what they look like right after we put them in. Here they are after 12 hours. As you can see, they're starting to become a little more transparent. Here they are after 24 hours. You can see that they're quite a bit more transparent now. And here's after 48 hours. Next up will be the bone stain, so I'll see you in step four.